Well, tonight we're turning our attention to a troubling trend, a growing number of cases mm. of domestic abuse. Two on your sides, Keelan Berrien introduces us tonight to a woman who is living through the trauma of domestic abuse just a few days after her boyfriend was charged with setting her house on fire. It started in November of 21. I waited till he left Buffalo and told him when he was gone that we weren't getting back together and not to come back, but clearly he didn't listen. Which is why domestic abuse survivor Jan Weaver continues to worry about her safety. She asked us to not show her face. What was the most recent thing that he just did to you? Started my house on fire with my son in it, tried to kill my son. That fire last week cost $60,000 in damages and left the house uninhabitable. Buffalo police arrested Weaver's ex-boyfriend, Scott Sinwell. He was arrested and charged with arson. Since the fire, Weaver and her kids have been living with her mom. But even while incarcerated, Sinwell still called Weaver's phone every day. Hello, you have a call at no expense to you from Scott. Her son took me inside their old home. Oh, you can barely get inside here. His room completely destroyed. When I was younger, I was like, like I would see that my mom, but oh, I don't really like, I don't know what to do. Like that's my mom, and you can't, you can't have that mindset at the end of the day. Like if it's your mom, like you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Unfortunately, Weaver is among a growing number of domestic violence victims, according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. One in four women will experience domestic abuse here in Erie County. Ava Thomas with the Family Justice Center says the numbers are rising. Generally, when the weather gets warm, when we've come off of a really cold season, that can sometimes increase, especially physical abuse. There's a lot of warm weather, drinking parties, and that can really escalate certain incidents. Thomas says there have already been 23 domestic violence incidents involving arson since January. Now she's worried about a trend that shows an increase in the number of domestic abuse cases involving strangling or with weapons. We saw an increase in the amount of clients that we were providing services to. Abusers were able to perpetrate their abuse completely and 100% on their victim. They were at home, not leaving, not going anywhere. And you know, Scott and Mary Alice, we connected Weaver with the Family Justice Center. They told us that one way to stop the harassing phone calls is to have the jail holding center managers put her number on the block or do not call list. We will be sharing that information with Weaver. But in the studio, Keelan Berrien, Channel 2 News.